right, guys, so real quick, I'm with my brother over here, and he also cuts hair. And we, we're still in Puerto Rico. This is gonna be a very separate video. If you guys haven't seen our Puerto Rico videos, Go look at those. We're having a lot of fun, but this is going to be posted later. No, later down, and this is more of a barber video. But since he's a barber, I'm putting him in here, and we're gonna um, we're gonna do this together. But we were walking through Puerto Rico today, and there was this supply store uh, that actually had a lot of equipment and a lot of um, you know a lot of different accessories, things like that. So we wanted to check it out, and we went in there and we caught the the Stylecraft Savers. Right now, me and him both we're on the same page when it comes to trimmers and liners. We're Team Babulous. Gold FX is my go-to. I got two different FX's, but I always end up going back to the gold ones. The original ones, those, you can't touch them. And I was telling them earlier, it seems like everybody on YouTube loves these. But you gotta be careful with that. And we're different, because I don't give a fuck about none of that. What is it, like, like a uh, partnership type of the thing? The deals or... where, like, you sponsorship, you send them products, you're, you yeah. review their products, and they pay you all that. They send you more things, and you're sponsored by them. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. We don't right. need the money. I'm not worried about it. So. Pick these up, they want to try them out. Always a, a fan of innovation in the industry. So I'm not a huge Stylecraft guy. The only Stylecraft tool that I have is the, the Uno Shaver. You use the Rebels, right? Mm -hmm. His go-to clipper is the Rebels, so he's familiar more with Stylecraft. How do you like the Rebels? It's it's a lot smoother for me, and it's mm. very light in my right. hand, yeah. and, and that's very important to me, it's how light it is. It's one of the lighter clippers, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and it's very versatile. You know, there's not much to it. I it like the, do, yeah. the charging. It comes with it, too. The charging port is very, very smooth. I, I like it. Normally, it's kind of in the way. This one's no, it's it's very easy to clip yeah. on and, and get out the way. And it's very customizable too. It, yeah, comes, yeah. it comes with. The it seems like Gamma and Stylecraft are really good about um, the cover sleeve yeah, on it. It's it's very the customizable. innovation with that. It's, as far as that goes, it seems like they really uh, prioritize yeah, that. Yeah, so that's and, definitely and then, a cool thing. Like the lever, I like. When is it a click lever? Yeah, right, it right? has a click yeah, lever. Yeah, so click you, lever. you know exactly Where which you setting you're at, yeah. and, and I like that a lot. So now we got the gold ones. I wanted the black ones really badly, but I'm the kind of person where if I see it in person, um, I'd much rather just buy it and not have to order it, wait for it to come in kind of thing. Yeah. But I really did want the black ones. Gold really isn't my, my thing, but... Is it like a matte black, or is it like... Like, mm, I think that it's more like this. I think that it's a shiny black, a I shiny. think. Okay. But I could be wrong on that. I haven't seen them in person. I've just seen the, I saw that they dropped. And uh, I know oh. I, I was about to order them before we came here. And um, I didn't. But uh, I saw these in the window of that supply store. And I was like, fuck it. I've been wanting to get these anyway. Let me get them. And by the time I get back home, I'll be able to use them. So by the end of this video, I'm going to use these. And I'm going to uh, you know, show you guys how they hit. But we're going to unbox this and see our initial uh, impressions. I literally have not touched these. I haven't. I've seen them, but I haven't really grabbed them and really looked at them. So we're going to see how they sound, how they feel. And then later in this video, I'm going to show you how they cut. So first up, looks like it does come with a charging dock. I like those. You yeah. can put charging docks instead of cords? Well, I mean, I, ho I hope it comes with the cord. Too, yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. it's both. Yeah, okay. you plug the cord in there or yeah. you can plug it into there. That just enables you to have a clean setup, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. You, know, you have it all laid out. You have them charging at all times. Then you kind of... Not flashing them, I wouldn't say, but you have them all in display. Yeah. It's easy to grab, put you down, have grab, out there. put down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I like those. Yeah, I definitely. I want to check out the new the 245 uh, dock oh. that has the different pods on there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that looks like a cool clean, setup. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not a huge dock person. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you've seen my station. I keep everything uh, in drawers, and I got, I just got my cables running into my drawers, and I, whenever I'm not using them, I put them on the charger, put them back in the drawer where I don't have to see them. Okay, but. I think that I would like, bro. I really think I would like that. Yeah, just seeing a lineup of just... It's all unique because not all have, of them. When you have like 10 docks, it doesn't look very good. Yeah, you know, it's here. Yeah. You got this dock, that dock. This right. one's bigger than that one. They got their logos yeah. on the front. They got, you know... I get the convenience and I like the idea, but I don't use docks like that. But I think when they drop that on their website, uh, we couldn't go to the CT Barber Expo because we're in Puerto Rico. <laughs> but we have a decent excuse on why we're not there because it's actually going on right now. So they're dropping it at the CT Barber Expo. I'm gonna have to wait till they drop online, but I think I'm gonna do that PowerPod setup. It all looks good. That's the biggest thing for me, how it looks. I don't, yeah. you know, I get the ergonomics is a good thing, it's important, and I'm a, I'm a person that wants a good aesthetic on the station, yeah. and that actually is a good aesthetic. So. It just makes you feel good about, you know, your setup, and it powers you through going through so many haircuts yeah. in a day, you know? Yeah, it's the actual trimmer itself, right here. And my initial thought grabbing it, I'm just so used to the FX, the Babyliss, that it's just like, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to using something else because I literally, literally stay with Babyliss for everything. And this, just grabbing it right now, it feels just different, but that's normal. Um, you got the standard uh, Stylecraft blade on there. 
Saber digital brushless motor. Let me know what you think, because he's the same way. He's also a, a babyless trimmer guy. You know, they're gonna have to be great to replace those, because I love the way those cut. Um, yeah. Pretty light, pretty uh, smaller. Yeah. It looks like, like they're the shorter. Yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. like the body is shorter, maybe a little thicker up here. Like, it seems like it might be a little thicker, like, right here. But I think the length is shorter, which can be a good thing. Similar body, how it's skeletoned out. You know, you can brush the hair out, like, you know, how it's skeletoned out right here. So you can get up in there and clean it. And uh, you also can, when you're lining up, you can see what's where you're going kind of thing. You know, even my old trimmers, like the TI liners, uh, slim lines, I would skeleton those out myself just to be able to see. It just makes it a lot easier. So I'm yeah. glad that trimmers nowadays are coming that way. You know, it seems like every trimmer that comes out is that way, but that hasn't been around that long when you think about it. So yeah, and it seems like easy to clean too. It's just the two very easy the same, clean. you know, screws right here. Very and easy. That looks like um, it just pops off. I've heard that these trimmers hit without any sort of zero gapping, any sort of modification. So I'm just gonna hit them out of the box. Uh, when I do this video and I uh, post it, these, I'm not gonna adjust them at all. I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm just gonna leave them to how they hit out of the box to see how they sound. <laughs> it seems like they're very quiet. Trimmers aren't as loud as clippers anyway, so the Gamma Instincts, those are those clippers are so freaking loud and also have the, the Pissed Off Barber uh, Goblins. They are so loud, so I imagine the trimmers yeah. might be loud on those too, but these, not bad. I would say more quiet than my Babyliss, but I've had those for a minute, so uh, that might explain, you know, new clippers always sound more quiet. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so that's how they sound. Let's see what else we got in here. Standard oil, little dusting brush, charger right here, and the same, you know, Stylecraft screwdrivers. Nothing too much here, guys. The main, the main thing to look at is this trimmer right here. I kind of wish that, like he said, Stylecraft you know, with his Rebels, they're super customizable. These are just gold. Wish there were different lids. Mm -hmm. I know they came out with the black version and that's what I wanted. If you don't know, all of my clippers and most of my trimmers are all purple. So uh, I would like to be able to customize these, but I, I don't think Looks these tough. seem super tough to, to do that. So I'll probably leave these how they are, but I wish they were black. They don't feel too much different than what I'm used to. I'm glad they aren't because the Instinct trimmers look super like girthy. They look pretty girthy, so I'm not sure how natural I would feel grabbing a trimmer that's more thick and, you know, getting into the super, you know, small places or yeah. whatever. So we'll see how these hit. I'm going to record some haircuts later this week. I'm not sure who they're going to be on. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, but I'm planning on doing that and putting this all in the same video. So if, if, it, was, if it was any skinnier, <coughs> it might be a bad thing, though, because yeah. I don't know how you feel, but like I want my entire hand on it mm. to feel total control mm -hmm. because if it's too skinny and like my fingers kind of touch then it's i don't feel as much in control i want i see i want I the trimmers to do the work you know so i want my hands to be able to guide it that's valid yeah and that's the thing they're not too this thick. is a good they're definitely not too thick i think yeah, that's a good like it. it might take me a second to get used to it just because yeah. of what i've been using for years mm -hmm. but um it's definitely not too thick mm -hmm. so i'm excited uh, about about using these so is it just click on and off is it yeah no okay. no settings no you know okay. nothing too too crazy uh, I like the blue light. That's always a good. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I think this is gonna be a good product. Uh, but like I said, it's hard to trust these people on YouTube. Right. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I don't like these and I go back to my babblers, barbers, you know, you know how we are. It takes a minute to get used to what you're using. You know, you might not. You might try these out and be like, eh, and keep using what you've been working, what's been working for you for a little bit and then, you know, throw these in and like gradually change. Like I was like that way with the, the taper blade on my Babyliss Clippers. Uh, it might be the same thing with this, but so I'm not, if I don't like them initially, I'm not going to be super hard on it. Because just, you know, barbers, you know, sometimes it can be a gradual thing yeah, no, to where you sure. get used to something. If they're absolute shit, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to fabricate anything. They didn't give me nothing. I went over here and bought these. <clears throat> I'm going to let you guys know. Stay tuned, and uh, we're in Puerto Rico right now. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still alive to make it to where I cut my clients with this. So stay tuned and we'll see.
really fast, guys. I want to make this super quick. It's my first day back from Puerto Rico, and I'm absolutely dying. Um, I worked all day, and I just got done with eight heads. I want to make this quick so I can uh, go to sleep. I want to talk really fast about uh, the sabers. After a full day of using these, I want to give my thoughts and opinions on them. I almost wasn't able to bring you this video because my luggage ended up getting lost on the way home, but luckily we were able to track it down and get it back from Miami. So, yeah, I use these for a whole day. Eight heads, use them on every cut. I have a super diverse clientele, so I use them on Caucasian hair, African American hair, Hispanic hair, a lot of different types of cuts. But before I go any further, I want to say that these are a great trimmer. I'm coming from somebody who's been a Babyless FX user basically since the Corded T Outliner. So this is probably the first trimmer that I've gone to as a go to trimmer since that. One, I want to say these are amazing with lineups when the hair is short. Say you have a client that comes weekly or bi weekly and you're just giving them the lineup that you give them all the time. These are great, perfect. I love the way they hit and I love how light they are on the skin. Uh, you can tell they're super gentle, but they hit hard. So that's a plus for sure. I would say they were great at that. An area that I thought they struggled in and a lot of trimmers struggle in this. And this is why I think it's important to have multiple trimmers on your station. Whenever I was going through thick lineups, so say somebody who doesn't come as often or somebody that has super thick hair hanging over and you need to go through the bulk, I would not recommend these for that. I like to use my FX's with the DLC blade for that. It seems like, I don't know why it's different between this DLC blade and the gold FX blade, but this seems to dig through that bulk much better. So I like to use these whenever I'm in those scenarios where I need to clip off a bunch of hair and then maybe go back with some hitters. Don't get it twisted, these are hitters, but overall these do hit very, very well. Straight out of the box, no zero gapping. I might adjust them a little bit, but out of the box they, they hit very well, especially on, you know, just typical lineups. I noticed that they were very, very good for that. I like to keep myself on my toes, so I'm probably gonna stick to these uh, for a while um, until they give me a reason to go back to my original trimmers. Like I said, I was gonna keep this honest and I have no reason to lie to you guys. I think they're probably as good at lining up as the Babyless FX's. Sometimes the grip of it because of the shape was a little bit awkward for me. I just got used to it though. That's not a fault of the trimmer. But uh, in other areas, sometimes the thicker shape was actually a good thing. Like uh, it helped me out a little bit. So Hector was right about that. Uh, I'm gonna stick to these for a while and until I get tired of them. And if I do, I'll let you know. But this is truthfully how I feel about Stylecraft Saber trimmers. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new here, I go by the name of Vino. We do barbering, fashion, lifestyle, a lot of different things. Thanks for checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I see you next time. Ciao ragazzi e ci vediamo la prossima volta. Ciao!